Hey, what's up? How are you? It's another wine steward video. It's the holidays, so maybe two a week is the expectation. We're fulfilling the expectation. This is the second video of the week, and uh, there's big news. There's a lot of good stuff to tell you. We're grateful for you watching. Thank you for being a part of this. And uh, the obvious news, at least as of the last video, the news we gave you was that we remain open. You can come and visit the wine steward anytime you darn well please, as long as the door is unlocked. Please wear a mask. Please be, be respectful of your fellow shopper by keeping some distance. And we've got a lot of square footage, so occupancy is not really a problem for us. So come on in, shop the wine steward. We're very grateful for you doing your holiday, your fun holiday shopping with us. There's two main things I want to tell you about today, and one of them is about a Zoom event. The final Zoom event of the year, we think, is going to be replacing an event that we love to do this time of the year in person. We love to have the actual importer here on the mezzanine right outside my office door, speaking to a full house. The thing fills up every year, and you all sign up, as many as you as can possibly fit upstairs. You sign up for a champagne and French wine event, as shown by the wonderful importer, Great speaker, totally cool guy, wonderful driver through the roads of France as I've uh, enjoyed it with him, Charles Neal. And Charles will be Zooming with us because he can't obviously be with us on the mezzanine this time around. So we've created an event that's a facsimile, frankly, of what we, tried to, what we do on the mezzanine. And the best thing we could do is put a six-pack sampler together for you, for you to enjoy at home while Charles Neal and Tom Switzer and I are all chiming in about them. So we do a Charles Neal event in the summer, and this is the, the really festive holiday version, which of course includes champagne. Champagne's the emphasis. Champagne is this thing that needs to be discussed for those who are wary, for those who are wondering why it costs a little bit more. And uh, once you've tasted a few of them and heard more about it, then you understand the hard work that goes into these, how special the place is, that's what we're going to elaborate on once again with Charles in a Zoom event. Right now, you can go to thewinesteward.com and sign up for the event by purchasing the six-bottle sampler. Now, it includes four champagnes. Guy Charlemagne. This is a Grand Cru Blanc de Blanc. Voirin Jumel. This is a beautiful white that's a blend of all three of the main champagne varieties, I recall. Charles will, will clarify. This is a Blanc de Noir. You don't see Blanc de Noirs as, as often, but this is by Henri Abézin, uh, Blanc de Noir. So it probably uses Pinot Meunier and Pinot Noir, or all Pinot Meunier, Pinot Noir, but it has to be made entirely of red grape varieties in order to be called Blanc de Noir. So let's just leave that up there. It's pretty. Looks better than all those coffee cups. And then a 2010, a vintage champagne, will also be part of your set by the great Pierre Monquy. What's distinctive about these champagnes? What's distinctive is you don't see them on grocery store shelves because they are grower champagnes. This is the rare breed of champagne where the producer actually has full control over the process, process because the producer is also the grower. Grower champagne means that the person making the wine also grew the fruit. And like I said, that's unusual in, in champagne. You'll never here of Veuf Clicquot or Piper Heidsieck, as good as they are, being called grower champagnes. They're the total, total opposite. They grow very, very, very little of their fruit. In this case, from start to finish, producer, as a grower, has full control over quality. So uh, these are, therefore, all 10,000 cases per year and less, and probably a lot less, more like 5,000 cases and less. Wonderful grower champagnes. Those of you who have attended the Charles Neal events in the past will recognize these names. Henri A. Bazin, Guy Charlemagne, Voirin Jumel, and Pierre Monquy. Maybe you've even enjoyed these wines in the past, but the fact is, come on, come to grips with it. You have to restock, right? We need some champagne. What we're going to do to fill out that sampler is provide you with some red wine as well. So one of the wines will be from Beaujolais from the Cru region of Renier, made by Domaine Colette. So that's a 100% Gamay that will also be um, in your, in your uh, six-pack sampler and part of the discussion that night. And finally, beautiful wine from Crow's Hermitage, organically grown 
Domaine Combier Crozer Hermitage, 100% Syrah. The cool thing is both of these wines do wonderfully in your Pinot Noir glass. So they're very, both very fragrant, Gamay and Syrah, and they'll do fantastically in your Pinot Noir glass. Let's talk about logistics. Let's talk about reality. The reality is you as a couple or even a foursome at home in your own bubbled group are not going to open all six of these wines. And you're saying, dude, I'm not gonna commit to that amount of money for a Zoom event if I'm not gonna drink all these wines. You're gonna drink all these wines for peace sake, it's the freaking holidays and you are in need of resupplying with champagne, right? So the idea is hearing about all the wines that night, maybe enjoying one or two, maybe three, if you have a, a, a group, a little group uh, in your bubbled garage. But at any rate, the point is you're supplying yourself for the holidays. In the meantime, you get to hear about all these wines. We think it's a wonderful value. We're, we've discounted the regular price is a discounted uh, price from the cumulative price. And then if you are in our wine club, you get a much better price. Take a look at the website, thewinesteward.com describes more thoroughly this pack. It tells you when the event's happening. I can tell you right now, it's Friday of next week. Uh, that's December 18th, and it's gonna be uh, at 5 p.m. It's gonna be good. Forgot to tell you, I've told you about six bottles. Our friend Tom Switzer, who is our rep for the Charles Neal Wines, is usually the guy hiding in the kitchen, filling it full of smoke and emerging uh, totally smoked, but uh, also with plates of beautiful things that he's created for us to enjoy along with the Charles Neal imported wines. Well, that can happen this year, right? How is Tom going to be able to thank you this time without being able to cook for you? Because that's his favorite way of doing it. His second favorite way, to buy you a bottle of wine. So this is a half bottle of yet another champagne, Serge Mathieu. This comes from the Aube region, Southern Champagne. And so you're not getting just six bottles, you're getting six and a half, you could say. Uh, for the price of six, actually, the very discounted price of six. So I can't emphasize enough the value going on here, the usefulness for the time of the year, the fact that you don't really have to open all of these wines during the Zoom event, but you should check in on the Zoom event so you know about the wines that you will be opening between now and New Year's, right? All right, enough said. The other main topic of the day, actually, intermission, okay? I pointed this out on Monday's video, but I need to give it a plug one more time. Eric has created a beautiful assembly of ciders. Ciders are starting to happen around here. And if you can give your cider fan or create a cider fan, uh, this sampler, you're going to make somebody happy this holiday season, right? So it's a six, well, summer cans, summer bottles, but it's six different ciders in a sampler along with notes about each. And you'll find that on our website too, all right? Kudos to Eric for putting that together. The other topic of the day is to let all of you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beloved wine club members know that your December wines are now ready to pick up. So come and get your wine club wines, come and get some other stuff, pick up some cheese, pick up some meats and uh, some Christmas gifts for your beloved. But let's tell you about a couple of the wines going into your December wine club. I can't tell you about them all, of course, but I have these open because I got here at about 6 a.m. to start writing wine club notes. By tomorrow evening, I will have them all done and we'll shoot them out to you. In the meantime, pick up your wines and anticipate those notes coming. But I got here early, wrote the notes. Actually, I'm only halfway through. But every time I write the notes, I open the bottle. Even if it's 6.30 in the morning, I get the bottle open. I have a big spit bucket by my desk, so don't worry about that. Uh, and it probably accounts somewhat for all the uh, Starbucks you see hanging around here. And for the fact that I got very cold this morning. This store gets chilly in the, on a December morning. So, hence the cap, hence the Starbucks, and hence these bottles of wine I'm confronted with and get to tell you about. I get to, it's a pleasure. Let's tell you about the fact that I have just finally submitted to the World Class Club its very, very first Argentine red wine called Bonarda. Argentina, don't you think of Malbec? The second most planted grape in Argentina is this, Bonarda. This is made by Famili uh, Familia Zucardi. Zucardi is one of the more thoughtful producers down there that take extremely good care of their staff. They create all kinds of programs to make sure that they get full educations, and that their kids are taken care of. They take care of their land with organic farming. They took care of us with a very thoughtful Bonarda here. Bonarda is also known as Charbono up here in California. If you've heard of Charbono, 
and have had it, you've had Bonarda. Bonarda, bon, Bonarda, Bonarda is rarely taken seriously in Argentina. It's kind of thought of as the workhorse grape down there. So it's really cool that these guys decided to take it more seriously, render it more elegantly, and make a world-class wine out of it. Hence the world-class club submission, finally. Bonarda, super fragrant, but not ridiculous. Bonarda in $10, $11 bottled form is silly red wine. It's just, it smells like a party little girl perfume but in this case this is more elegant this never saw a barrel it was fermented in concrete it was aged in concrete the idea being that bonarda has so much of its own beautiful fruit why would you want to oxidize this out in a barrel why would you want to add wood flavors from a barrel no this is beautiful naked bonarda grapey ah, blueberries blackberries just a little bit of a botanical intrigue, we could say. Smooth, juicy, flowing wine. The other day I got tea smoked duck from our neighbors, Andy and Hughes. Went out the back door and went in their back door and ordered for takeout. Tea smoked duck from Andy and Hughes would go wonderfully with this. Check it out. Bonarda from Familia Zuccardi. That's going to the World Class Wine Club. Why don't we tell you about a club we don't talk about all that much on the videos because it's almost like <laughs> it's not a waste of time, but we, we spend more time talking about the more, um, you know, the club's showing better wine. But the fact is this has in the past gone to the Wine Adventure Wine Club for which you're spending $40 a month. This time we struck such a great deal that it gets to go into the, the club at the bottom rung, you could say, the introductory level club called our Tuesday Night Club, implying that these are wines that... It doesn't hurt the pocketbook all that much to be opening them up on Tuesday nights. And you're all supposed to reckon them as like not the most profound wines you're ever going to open. But just darn good wine for a Tuesday night. This is bitchin' wine for a Tuesday night. I am frankly very surprised that we were able to cut the deal to get Due Amici. Uh, this comes from the Marque region. Or maybe it's from Abruzzo. Let me make sure. Da -da 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 -da. I think it's... Oh, it's the Marque, Rosso Conero, so that's part of the Marque region uh, on the Adriatic. And this will be two different wines, two different guys providing those wines. It's two friends, hence Due Amici, and a very colorful, uh, fun label design going on here. 90% of it is Montepulciano, and 10% is Sangiovese. And we've carried this wine many times before. It's cost more in the past. It still has the beautiful dark color. It still has this beautiful dark black walnut and cherry and blackberry nose. Mm. Mm. I don't want to spit that out, but I must. That is really delicious. You know, it's got great mouthfeel, but it's also got wonderful action. In other words, uh, the energy of uh, acidity is also there, keeping the mouth desirous of yet another sip. Tasty stuff. Due Amici. We should put the bottles up here so you can see them for beat's sakes. Two guys on unicycles playing uh, brass instruments. Kind of cute, right? I wonder what that would sound like. Right on. Let's try... Hey, let's tell you about what's in the Wine Adventure Club this month. I can tell you about two of them because they're both open. They're both right in front of me. So let's go there. How about that? Let's take you first to a place I've actually gotten to visit not once but twice. This is from the Right Bank part of Bordeaux. This is from a region called Cadillac. Looks like Cadillac when you see it on a label. At Cadillac, here's the region. This is Chateau Suo. Chateau Suo, being a right bank wine is, come on, maybe you know this, it's going to be based on the Merlot grape. That's what happens on the right bank. 85% Merlot, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon. The reason why this is happening now is A, we got a really good deal on a wine that I've liked for a long time but could never quite squeeze into your club without the deal happening. So the deal happened. Secondly, it's winter. And actually this, this weekend, we might actually finally get a little bit wet. And if the rain starts and the, it's cold outside and you got your Pendleton shirt on and you want to come in and roast something or braise something for a couple of hours and uh, maybe get a fire going in the fireplace, have the dog looking at you longingly, knowing that there's probably something on a bone in the oven, 
This is the wine. This is the wine for that kind of mood, for that kind of night. This is winter feasting wine. You don't drink Bordeaux like a cocktail. You don't drink it in the middle of the summer. It just doesn't fit. This is the time when this wine has a great chance. Bordeaux, of course, is world famous, but Bordeaux is a little bit misunderstood. It's not as beloved these days for a couple of different reasons. We'll talk about those in our wine club notes, but it's, it's time sensitive. It is situation sensitive. It needs that cold rainy night. It needs braised meats, uh, root vegetables, mushrooms, all those like wonderful heart soul foods. And you get this, you get this wine that has earth, that's what we anticipate from Bordeaux, right? But there's fruit going on because it is the 15 vintage, so there's cherry fruit, earth. What kind of earth? Like freshly tilled earth, like if a plow has just gone by turning up the, the dirt clods. Ah, it's a little bit of leather, there's some spice. There's a little bit of everything in this wonderful wine. And the way this hits is so perfect that you almost don't notice. In other words, the balance is great here. It doesn't spank you, it doesn't shout fruit. It, it just does everything really nicely in a very, very classy Bordeaux way. I can't really describe it any better than that. If you like Bordeaux, you'll like this. If you don't know anything about Bordeaux, cook for this and you'll be giving it the best chance possible. All right, Chateau Suo. Now let's take you to something I think more of you will just immediately embrace because we've shown Rioja from Spain a little more often. Rioja is the wine region. Rioja is about four times the size of the Napa Valley, just for reference. And whereas Bordeaux's, Bordeaux is 10 times the size of the Napa Valley. So this is somewhere in the between as far as like significance of acreage. This wine is, however, unlike the Napa Valley where the main red grape happening in Spain is not Cabernet. What is it? It's Tempranillo. This is gonna be, I believe, 90% Tempranillo, 10% Graciano. I say it with a lisp and you sound more Spanish. At any rate, this is De Obriga Selección Familiar, 90% Tempranillo and 10% Graciano. And it sees both French and American oak barrels. And it's wonderful. We did a Rioja a couple of year, uh, months ago for your club, this very same club made by the Faustino people. That's a little more classic, you could say, a little more tangy, more earth, more leather. This one has a little more dark cherry fruit. It's from the wonderful 2015 vintage. A little more mass in the mouth. I gotta prove it to myself. Gotta have some credibility here, right? All right. The obriga. Oh my, that smells nice. So what I did on Sunday night is I made a couple of lamb shanks and it took probably three and a half hours for these suckers to fully cook. But that was fine because it took about three hours for the Rioja I had in a decanter. Not this one, but one like it. The Rioja and the decanter needed that amount of time to fully bloom. You can enjoy this right out of the bottle. But I promise you that Tempranillo has air-loving qualities and it will indulge you with more stuff, more fragrance, more flavor if you give it some air. So the cool thing is it loves braised lamb. It loves roasted lamb. This roasted lamb dish, I'm happy to give you the recipe. In fact, I'm kind of putting it in the wine club notes. Do roasted lamb with this wine so that you can spend a few hours, maybe a nice Sunday afternoon off watching football, checking in and basting your lamb once in a while with the juices that are going to the bottom. And at the same time, decanting this wine. Beautiful thing to do. It's, that's, that's the life. That's what my one day off per week consists of sometimes. It's the best day off I could have. De Obriga Seleccion Familiar Rioja. I hope you like lamb. Mm. Mm. That's nice wine for the money. Very nice stuff. 91 points from somebody who cares who. All right. Let's tell you that the California Wine Lovers Club is going to get two bottles from the same producer, a producer that many, many of you already know, a producer many of you saw in a recent Zoom event. Let me put up a bottle and you will all of a sudden like start nodding with recognition. Yes, this is from Stoltman. You're not going to know this label because this dog on like a wine called La Quadria changes its label design every year just to confound, but also to give the artists a little extra work. And artists do need that, don't they? So this is the wine called La Quadria, that means the crew, in honor of the crew of Stoltman Vineyards. Stoltman was one of the first wineries to actually keep its all Mexican crew 
in-house, in town, all year long, in order for them to not have to like go back and forth, back and forth. The inconvenience of that, they instead of being seasonal, they are annual, they are year round. And they also thank the crew for their hard work by giving them the profits from this wine. So this benefits them. They have a hand in farming and making it. And La Quadrilla this year round, it's different every year. This is 70% Syrah, 15% Grenache, and 15% Sangiovese. All three of those varieties flourish in this area called Ballard Canyon, which is in Santa Barbara County. This is Stoltman Vineyard, La Quadrilla. Delicious again. And the very, very cool thing is Pete Stoltman agreed to release it early just for us. So his winery doesn't even bring out this 2019 until uh, maybe June. And this wine is going to be in the store. Actually, it is in the store. It landed on a couple of pallets yesterday. So we have it. We have this wine that it doesn't need any more time. Pete just wanted to sell out his 18 before releasing to the broad market his 19, where we've already shown the 18. We showed it at the Zoom event. Here comes 19 for your club. <laughs> I love what those guys do. Love it so much that we had to do it twice. The more conventional looking Stoltman Vineyard label right here. And, but a uh, uh, perhaps a wine that we've never even carried before. Maybe they've never even made it, at least not in this name. Stoltman Estate Vineyards, Grenache, Syrah, Mavedra. The classic GSM blend happens here. GSM favoring the G. And it's also putting out there the fact that Ballard Canyon is not Cabernet country. It's for the Rhone varieties especially. And Sangiovese also kicks ass there as well. Oh, per the Sangiovese. The Stolman Sangiovese is on our best wines of 2020 list. So the best 40 wines in the store, 2020. We were getting down to like two or three bottles, got a couple more cases, they just landed. That Sangiovese is gorgeous. It has a little more stuffing than this wine and it does cost about 10 bucks more, but it is rockstar Sangiovese from California. You can't say that about Sangiovese from California very often, but they nail it. And back to this GSM, nice. Grenache with its brambly qualities, along with the, the, the smoky, uh, sweet blueberry fruit of Syrah. What might the Moved be doing? Probably the, the kind of little bit of animal fur at the bottom, but it's not a distraction. It's a good thing. It just adds intrigue to this wine. <clears throat> this is a 2019, 2019. Doesn't that sound young? Doesn't that like sound frighteningly tannic? No, we're talking about GSM here. We're talking about Stoltman. This wine is fresh, delicious, ready. You can enjoy this now. You can have it with Christmas dinner. I'm thinking pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin or pork roast. Maybe with a little smoke on it. A little char or a little smoke. Beautiful. Man. <laughs> I'm taking that one home. Okay. I know I'm belaboring the video point. But there's one more wine I want to tell you about, a wine going to the White Wine Club. We can't tell you about all 12 of the wines that we've chosen for our six clubs this month. But let's tell you very quickly about Librandi Chiro Blanco, or Bianco. In Italy, they say Bianco. I'm so used to the Spanish, Blanco. Bianco, Bianco. This is made of Greco Bianco, that's the name of the grape. And we're visiting the Southern Italian region of Calabria, which we rarely do. So that's the cool thing about the club. We get to take you to parts unknown. We are above Sicily, we are below Tuscany. We're visiting Calabria for a Chiro Bianco made of Greco. Woohoo! smells so good. It smells good because it smells so clean, squeaky clean, white wine, fresh. It's a 2019, super young. When I tried this about three months ago, it still smelled a little bit like bananas, which is what like just fermented white wine can smell like. We kind of want that to ease off a little bit so other things can happen. So yes, it still has maybe a tiny bit of tropicality, but now I think it's coming into like the stone fruit area of uh, the fruit spectrum and that's maybe white peach or white nectarine and lime leaves. It does bear a family resemblance perhaps to some of the Spanish whites that we show you from Galicia with that fresh liveliness. Mm. There's wonderful mouthfeel in the middle. It's clean but broad and then it cleans up. It snaps. Ah, that's good. 
It's uh, kind of a lime, uh, some kind of citric finish, just like a little bit of peel, like citric, citric peel. That tiny, tiny bit of bitterness that keeps your mouth awake and says, hmm, I think I want some more. Two main messages, guys. This week's video is all about the Zoom event that we're doing Friday of next week with Importer Charles Neal. We would like to involve at least a couple dozen of you in that. Sign up to get that six bottle sampler, which comes in handy, not just for the event, but for your entire holiday experience. And there's, since there's four champagnes and two other beautiful reds in that. And, and remember, Tom Switzer is going to thank you with a half bottle of champagne beyond. So it's six and a half bottles for a very nice price. And then wine club members, you've heard it from me. You've heard it in this video. Wines are ready to pick up. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, we'll see you uh, in uh, probably a few days since we tend to be doing two videos per week at this point. We're very grateful for you watching. We hope to see you inside the store pretty soon with a mask on, being respectful of your fe fellow shopper, and I am very, very help happy to help you find some very nice wines for your holiday experience. Let's make the holidays all they can be this year. See you soon.